been defused. Counter terrorists win. Hey guys, Muzzle here again. Taking a look at Rush from Optic, and uh, I swear I'm not picking on Optic or anything. They just they just keep winning, so I keep looking at them. Uh, they played Cloud9. This was uh, an elimination game. This was the third map in a best of three for the ECS LAN Finals. And Optic go on to win it. Uh, Rush was our top fragger, so I figured I'd grab him and see what it looks like. I haven't looked at uh, any of Rush's demos before, but I know he kind of leads the way on Optic for sketchy clips. So I wasn't too sure what I'd see uh, watching Rush play, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. The pistol round, he hits a nice couple shots, and it all looks clean to me. Not lining anyone up or anything, so it's all good first round. Okay, into an early gun round for Rush. And uh, it didn't take long for Rush to make me sit up straight in my chair, for sure, because I thought this round was a little weird. Some weird crosshair movement there. Um, and even when he swipes left to the door here. This is a replay in slow motion. Um, I haven't shown it yet, but you, Rush seems like a really high sense guy, and he was doing like at least 100, 120 degree swipes no problem, so it was kind of weird that he swiped to the left while stopping at the door. And also, if he did run out of mouse pad and have to pick up his mouse, um, I think he... Like he, he, he's got to be the world's fastest guy picking up his fucking mouse because he starts moving the crosshair really quick again, which seemed weird as well. This is slowed down a lot, so it looks like he hangs out there a bit, but I mean, it, when you watch it again in full speed, um, he really does zip by the door, but just has a really brief stop at it. Here, to get, here it is again in full speed. You can see how brief of the stop at squeaky door he has. It just seems weird. Here's the second part of that round where he gets off the box and he's looking in the smoke and I don't know what the fuck is going on with his crosshair but it was something notable to put in for sure. Like what the fuck? I don't, like even if he's trying to look above the smoke it really doesn't make sense there. Um, so I just wanted to include that to see if you guys had a better idea of what the fuck was going on here. I don't get, uh, yeah, I really don't get what's going on there, but <laughs> it just looks weird, so I had to put it in and kind of see what you guys think about it. This clip doesn't seem like much, and it isn't. <laughs> um, just at the beginning there, he, the way his crosshair moves towards the guy's legs, I just wanted to keep an eye on it. I'll show it again in slow motion here. Uh, Rush actually had a couple moments where he seemed to aim his crosshair strangely towards someone's legs, so I figured I'd just throw this in and uh, have it there for the sake of having it. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the other clips. It'll look better with context. All right, we got a clutch for Rush here. 4-4, still early in the gun rounds, and uh, there is some stuff I want to talk about on this round. So I'm going to replay what I thought was weird at the end of the round and you can kinda guess uh, what I thought was weird <laughs> but I'll just let the whole thing play through here he does end up losing the clutch but I didn't think things went normal when he's in vents here I was asking myself why is his crosshair going to the left um, it didn't really make sense to me it goes to the left and then he stops and just sits there with his crosshair in no man's land looking at absolutely nothing. So obviously it doesn't lock on anywhere near him. Um, he may not even held it down long enough to get the lock or he can have an offset anyways. It just seemed it, this is a 1v1 perfect situation to use an aim key if you have one. And the fact that he's looking at nothing in a 1v1 like Skadoodle's walking the whole time he has no idea where Skadoodle could be. So this didn't make sense to me, and I thought that crosshair was that crosshair movement looked uh, really funny. And uh, I definitely wanted to show it a few times just to, to get some eyes on it. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, this is the next gun round. And uh, I'll let this play out as well. 
pretty much the whole round. There's some quick movement. Like most, mo uh, Rush moves his mouse really fast. Uh, and does a lot of quick movements for very little reason, I find. Not as bad as Stewie, but uh, he definitely looks around a lot. And so it's, it's uh, like I'll watch the demo and then he'll move his mouse and I have to fucking rewind and watch in super slow motion to see if anything actually happened. So it's it's definitely a difficult guy to watch. There's nothing too crazy in this clip, but he does have uh, a pretty impactful round, so I figured I'd include it. And the part I wanted to talk about again is right here. The guy is shooting at door. Yes, I know he's spraying through and making noise. But it's still kind of weird to do that, don't you? I think. It seems weird anyways to me. And he flicks down right at his feet. Again, just like earlier when he was on someone's feet. And, like, that is super accurate too. Like, right directly on his feet. Um, so I thought that was kind of strange. And, uh... I know the guy's making noise and everything, but whatever. Uh, I just wanted to throw it in there. Just to, uh, to get some clips in there. You know me. I really don't think this is too, too much, but... It's definitely worth being in there. I'll show it again here real quick at full speed. And he does a full flick to the right. Um, no problem. But then you see him make like the world's smallest mouse adjustment to a guy. And it's near the feet again, kind of like the other offset. He's more, he's definitely not right under his feet like he was before. Uh, so maybe that theory is completely burnt. But it just seemed like a really small adjustment to make. Um, when normally you'd kind of be whipping back and forth between, you know, looking highway and then looking door. So here's another earlier spot in the round where it's not a perfect comparable, but you can kind of see, um, it doesn't really stop with this crosshair and door for any reason. And he turns around like 180 degrees, no problem. You can tell. So, uh, I do think there may have been something up with that earlier clip. Here we are. Last gun round for the first half. Um, this one just a little bit of weird crosshair movement here at mid. With the whole swiping left to right. I slowed it down to look at it to see if I could kind of make sense of it. And I'm not really sure what he's doing. Maybe he's trying to play a little bit of anti-flash or he's not sure where he wants to look. I, I don't know. I don't think he's tapping an aim key. But I just figured I'd put that in there and you guys let me know what you think. On to the T side. Piss around. And uh, they just do a fast A take here. Optic's pretty fast on their T side, so I didn't have to watch the demo nearly as much when Cloud9 was T side. Fucking take so much time off the clock. There was just one spot I wanted to look at again here. I'll just slow this down to look at it, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that's anything. It's just a quick little lineup for the crosshair. Like, yeah, I don't think that's anything to worry about. This is an anti eco round, but I don't normally include them. But there was a couple things I wanted to talk about. I was worried about that quick spin to spawn there, so I had a few looks at this round um, from a couple different angles just to make sure it was nothing. And I don't know, I figured I'd just tell you my pr my thought process on it. Um, so when I first saw it, you could see there's a flashbang thrown on the ground by the CT. So he turns away, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's why he turned away and lined up that guy. And I'm like, well, why the fuck? Why'd he turn back and get blind with it if that's what he was turning away from? He would. You know, if he saw that, he'd wait for that to pop, right? So then I watched it again, and uh, Stan actually throws a flashbang in the window, and that's what he's turning away from. His teammate called out that a flash is going out, and the CT threw a flash slightly after that, and that's why he gets full blind from it. So the turn to the guy in spawn, absolutely nothing. This is really quick, and... It was hard to spot on the demo, but I, I wanted to slow it down just to see. He turns towards mid just before he jumps on this box. And he's like exactly lined up with that guy that's playing mid. But automatic at mid is in like a pretty off angle. So I was surprised to see him lined up precisely for it. For it. Um, he doesn't get the kill and he pulls off. 
like he's trying to correct his crosshair back up to the box. So I don't think there's anything here. It may just be one of those chance moments where you exactly line someone up at an off angle due to poor crosshair placement. Or maybe he tapped his aim key, it lined up, and then uh, he corrected you know, in his head before he saw the guy. Um, I think it's too hard to really make a good argument for that. I, I, it's just uh, it's just not enough in the clip to really to really know what happened. All right, twelve twelve, getting late into the game here, and there's a lot that happens in this round. I'm just gonna play through at normal speed as usual, and you guys are probably gonna go ballistic when you see this at normal speed. But I don't know. It's hard to. I'll talk about it a bit when I slow things down. But this is a crazy round from Rush. He uh, he has a pretty high impact round. They hold off the uh, 2v3 retake. Double molly the fucking bomb. Okay, the first thing I wanted to talk about was the lineup at door when he comes out on Skadoodle. That is absolutely nothing in my opinion. Um, he's just lining up to peek it, and he peeks the wrong fucking side. The other one, this one, when he lines up the guy at highway, the first one looks bad, but... I mean, it's not extremely out of the ordinary for him to line that up for a guy peeking. The second one is the one that really bugged me because he seems to wiggle off. The first one, I'll I'll, I'll say it's probably nothing or it could be nothing. Um, you're going to see when he goes on the second time, his crosshair definitely wiggles a bit before it comes off. At least that's what it looks like in the HLTV demo. And he goes like center mass and it wiggles a bit. So... Maybe there's something there. Definitely could be. Um, then the next kill. This first kill is just fucked like. Holy flick. Um, and then the second one gets a pre-spray to win the round. Or it starts spraying before the guy comes around the corner. So yeah, definitely definitely an interesting round. And there could be something here. So let me know what you guys think. This is a anti-eco round that just fucking goes to shit for optic, um, and Rush is left in a clutch, a three v one that he has to clutch. There's some funny business going in it, going on here. Fuck, like uh, he lines up the guy at highway perfectly, and I just fucking do not buy it anymore that this is just bad crosshair placement. Like, give me a break. This is the easiest angle to line up ever, and he's missing it just by a little bit, just like other players have missed angles just by a little bit. But he is fucking locked into his head, and it's a huge, uh, like it's a very crucial round, and I just don't buy that that's an accident uh, anymore. Like, I don't know. I, I'd, I've just said uh, so many times in this demo, oh, that could be nothing, it could be nothing. Well... I don't know. I don't think this is nothing. This looks pretty pretty sketch to me. Like I said, it's a very easy angle to line up. For a pro player to miss it that much in a clutch situation is very unusual. Um, even this last kill felt a little weird. Um, like, I know he's not playing with a wall hack or anything, but it's just timing. Like, this crosshair just moves to the right side, or to the correct side, just as the guy starts moving. I don't know, just kind of weird. Um, I figured I'd throw that in too, but um, definitely the kill at highway is, is worse looking. And I don't fucking buy for a second that it, he just missed his spot while peeking around that corner. Like, a fucking gold Nova can peek that angle correctly. This uh, ended up in the Vax Sucks subreddit this round, so I got it in there. Um, I'm not sure what to think of it. It doesn't look as good in GoTV as it does on stream. Like, it gets smoothed out in GoTV. But you can see when Rush plays, like, it's almost like you're watching it in fast forward when he moves his mouse around and stuff. It's really kind of weird. Um, you can see a lot of weird crosshair shakes here. And he is pretty comfortable looking in to quad. Some people might hold an angle, but it's really not that unusual to just look into the box and use your headphones to, to peek. What does make it unusual is the constant, like, flicking around, like that little mouse movement like flicking in and then flicking back and stuff that that's what makes this weird it's not so weird that he's looking into the box like that's 
not the end of the world, but I figured I'd slow this down to look at it, but it's hard to be conclusive. Um, there definitely could be something going on. I got the stream version here too to look at, and I mean, like I said, he is really comfortable looking into that box, which isn't super normal, but the most movements are kind of weird for sure, I think, and judging by the rest of the demo, I'd say there's a good chance there's something going on here, in my opinion. Okay, this is really subtle, and maybe I'm just on fucking high alert now, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just fucking reading way too much into this, but I'm gonna let this round play through at full speed just so you guys can kind of make an opinion of it before I get into it. And then we'll talk about it at slow motion afterwards, but Rush does have a pretty impactful round here. Um, as you can see, we're into overtime. We are 16-16 in overtime, and they're, uh, it's a 3v2 to start, or to, uh, defend the B site here. Rush gets both kills. So I'll play the funny part again at full speed, and watch how his mouse goes up really smooth um, to heaven, like he's lined up with heaven, then lines up with uh, the rail there, and he goes back and forth a few times, and it's all smooth, it kind of looks fine, and then it kind of gets stuck on the player model a little bit, so I'll slow that down, just to see what you mean, or what I mean, and you see how he's moving back up uh, from the rail up to heaven, and it's one motion, and it looks like he's just swiping back and forth to keep his crosshair moving, and then that one sticks to the player, and also makes like a little jerky movement. Obviously, you know, you'd have to accept the fact that there's going to be an offset and stuff like that, but for it to get swiped up to heaven, and then do a little jerky movement around the player model is definitely uncomfortable to look at, I think. Like, I don't think that's that natural, considering how many times he's swiping up and down here. you think uh, he'd have plenty of most space to move normally. That one right there. So yeah, um, maybe I'm on high alert, but maybe this is something too, you know? The round makes sense. Alright, I'm trying to get through this fucking demo, but like, Rush keeps getting clips that I have to put in, so... <laughs> Here's another one. First round of uh, overtime on CT side for Rush. And you need a keen motherfucking eye to catch this one. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but this is identical to what we saw with the recent Glaive and Shroud clip, where they get a spray down, and then an instant lock onto another enemy. And you could write this off maybe as um, him just jiggling his crosshair off of that spray, but you can see it seems like he would have preferred to have his crosshair at the door when he sprays this guy down. This is easily uh, easy to write off, but in my opinion, I don't know. We just saw the gla we just saw the glaive clip, and he did this exact thing. We just saw Shroud have a clip where he was spraying someone down, and then the next, you know, right after the spray down, it instant hard locks onto someone. And this is really similar. Like he's got a really hard lock on Skadoodle there, and then you could see him kind of grab the crosshair off of that. So this could definitely this could be more shit, you know. Um, it seems like they might have something bound to mouse one to help during aiming, and then it's still fucking grabbing players after they're done shooting um, really briefly at certain points. So I figured I'd throw in the, the Shroud clip and the Glaive clip just because I mentioned them, so here's what they look like as well. And you can see, same thing. After spray down, they lock on to the next um, guy. So... Definitely something going on here. To see this three times in one tournament is extremely rare, I think. Here's a quick one of, uh, I just thought I'd show this. It's some weird crosshair movement again, and I thought maybe he'd use an aim key here just to make sure there's nobody flanking him at mid. And you can see it uh, locks onto Stewie, I'm pretty sure it is. Locks onto him pretty hard. Could be nothing on this one, but uh, we're getting... We're getting into a lot of scenarios and some back-to-back -back rounds where this shit's happening, so I gotta put all these in, like, I don't know, there's there's a pretty good chance that he may have used an aim key. Like I said, he'd want to check to make sure there's nobody mid, tap an aim key, it will, it'll find someone mid if there is, if not, it'll spin you around and lock you right onto someone. So, could be something here too.
Thankfully this last round fucking nothing happens and I can finally finish this fucking video. Um, he just flies in here, gets one kill and GG. So Optic moves on and they're playing the finals right now actually. Hopefully I can catch that before uh, it's over. Um, this was probably... Fuck, this was a pretty fishy demo I think. Um, there was a lot of weird shit, some crosshair placement that looked pretty out of the ordinary. Um, as well as some decent locks in certain situations. So yeah, I, <laughs> I'd be pretty confident saying that there's fucking something going on here for sure. Uh, this is just one game that I looked at from Rush, keep that in mind. You know, maybe every other demo he has is clean. Uh, it's probably not, but <laughs> this was, uh, this may have been my worst demo that I looked at. Um, the first Stewie one was pretty fishy, the Fallen one I did was pretty fishy, and Rush is fucking right up there with them for sure in this uh, in this demo, I think. Keep in mind this was game three, and it went into overtime, so there was a ton of important rounds. And that may have been what made it uh, fishier. Uh, like Rush got into a lot of a few clutch situations that would encourage him to use something in my opinion. So yeah, I'll definitely be looking at more uh, more Rush, I guess. Um, I don't want to do the next three like the next three demo review series. I do. I don't want to do another Optic guy right away. So I'll pluck away at some other guys first, I think. But uh, yeah, Rush wasn't looking too hot this series. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.